Now, we live in a small-ass border town. Yep. Kind of sucks donkeys. It kind of sucks donkeys. Uh, it is a, It is a town of some renown in the sense that it's put in a lot of movies. Yeah. Uh, and none of the movies get it right ever. Nope. Because it's either an isolated nothingness. Yeah, it's like a wasteland. A, yeah, a wasteland with one little bar in it. Yeah. Or, you know, it's like a drug haven full of cholos and shit. Yep. But in reality, where we live, it's a, you know, it's a pretty peaceful little fucking burg. It's a place. It's getting a little bigger, but whatever. It's it's calm. But one thing that has never changed about this town is that we don't get anything cool here. Nope. You know? We're finally getting some more new stuff, like teams, I guess. I don't care about that shit, like mm. baseball teams and hockey teams and all that crap. We never get any cool Gives a fuck about that. Uh, we, the bands we do get that are cool, uh, hate us. The, the audience makes them hate us. Yep. In fact, our town is so... I, I say our town. We live really in the outskirts, but... You know, that's the town we, we are part we, of. We live in the uh, <clears throat> desert, freaking apocalyptic area. Yeah, we live where the movies portray <laughs> it to be. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, uh, uh, we have a kind of notorious reputation with bands that do come here. Uh, I've been to shows here where the bands actually say, we know about what's, you know, try to be cool with us. Yeah. We're cool with you. And of course, every fucking single time, the crowd ruins everything. Uh, Manson, I'm pretty sure, was close to fucking suicide. Yeah. The few times I saw him here, he was like, fuck these people. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the people in our town, they're just so happy that something big came here that everybody shows up. Yep. So the crowd is full, not of fan, not full of fans and people that actually want to go, but just like regular Joe Schmo, who would be like grilling in the backyard instead of going to a fucking corn concert or, yeah. or a Marilyn Manson he, concert. He went there things. because he thought there was going to be a lotus, not because he yeah. likes a corn. So, you know, fuck, man. It always leads to some fucking disaster and, and people end up hating us. Here's the thing. Because we are growing steadily, a lot of bigger things are coming our way. And uh, this has led, as aforementioned, to... Uh, Several people getting punched in the face. We won't mention any names, but uh, let's just say it was a pretty boy that got punched in the fucking face. We've had Manson damn near want to kill himself because nobody knew any of the fucking songs because everybody was a fucking retard. And uh, the few people that were there that knew the songs were too busy going, Man, man, Miss Wayne, Manson! <laughs> Hated that guy. But anyway, uh, it's bad is it's what I'm getting It's not good. At. Now we're getting classier <clears throat> fare. And back when I was in high school, uh, they announced that the touring cast of the Broadway smash fucking hit, Les Miserables. Now, you know me, I love, <laughs> you know I love me some Les Miserables. I've talked about this fucking play yeah. since I went to it. I love this fucking, I haven't seen the fucking movie yet because I'm afraid yeah. of what it may do to my opinion of the play. Because the movie, the recent one with uh, Hugh Jackman and Anne Hathaway is based on that play, a musical play. I love that fucking play. It's one of the best experiences of my life going to see that play. Great cast. Great everything. I jizz my pants. Yeah, you do. But here's the thing. I was a youngin' when I went and saw it. Not too young. I was like 19, 18. Uh, but even then I knew I'm this going to yeah, I'm going to a theater. One. Two. This is a, a world-class fucking cast. Three, this is a legendary play. I got to dress up. Yeah. And I'm not known to dress up. No, this is literally the best it gets. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. You know? Formal attire, you say? Normally, normally you're just nude. Yeah. Right now, waist down, nothing. Nope. Literally, no penis, nothing. I'm trying not to make eye contact with the old wiener. Kind of hard, though. But you're failing. It's kind of hard because <clears throat> it itself is hard. Yeah, you heard it here first. But, uh, yeah, no, man, uh... I am nude, but the, the point is, I'm not known to dress up for a fucking event. Fuck that shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But th I knew that this was one of those events where, come on, man, have some decorum here. Yeah. And so I dressed up as best as I could, you know, put on the old tie. The old bolo tie? It was a bolo tie, oh, unfortunately. Oh, man. Put on the old boots. 
I mean, it's it's Texas, bro. You yeah, know what I'm I saying? Guess. It passes. Yeah. And uh, you know, <laughs> shot myself up, and because uh, I was because <laughs> no. I was because I was nude. And now your boots, just like your entire body. Yeah, I was nude, man. Mm-hmm. But uh, just the boots and the bowl of time. That's it. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe, oh no. Maybe some cuffs around the shoulder. <laughs> Definitely the mask. Uh, little hat. Uh, but yeah, anyway, man, I showed up, you know, looking spades, uh, was with, uh, my girlfriend at the time and she dressed up as well. We knew we had to and do it this. It was a thing. Yeah. yeah. We were going to a legit theater. <laughs> we were going to see a legit cast. It's play legit. A legit freaking play. So we sit down, uh, we were there relatively early and guess what? People from a hometown start filtering in yeah. and, uh, it's not good. <laughs> Because, as I said, when something shows up, everybody decides, oh, we got to go see this, even though we don't know jack fucking shit about it. Not even what the fuck we're seeing. But we're going to go see it because yeah. it's in town. So we're sitting there and these fucking like rotund motherfuckers with flip flops, <laughs> fucking bonsas all hanging out and shit. <laughs> Shot glasses and shit. Yeah. Fucking... You know, they got the sunglasses and then they're, they're all fucking tan from working outside. And, yeah. and they put them up like that when they get inside. You hear those walkie-talkies, the walkie-talkie uh, yeah, cell they're, phones? they're talking to their cell phones really fucking loud. And they all come in. And I swear to ass, somebody like three rows in front of me breaks out a bag of Fritos. Yep. And is chewing on them fucking shits when the fucking thing starts. And I'm, instead of hearing the overture, I'm hearing fucking crunch, crunch. P.S. It stinks like feet in here now. <laughs> and I'm fucking pissed, man. I'm like, what is this? You're not happy. I'm not happy. But this is this is what happens, man. This is what happens when people are ignorant as fuck. It's okay to go to something if you've never experienced yeah. it before. But fucking do your fucking homework, damn it. Really, there should be like a guy at the door being like, you know. What this, is this? This chancla thing. The fact that I can see your long hair—I'm talking about you, by the way. Literally, we see your long hair. Uh, it's not good. Don't come in. Also, this Frito thing—it's uh, got to stop. Yeah. P.S. Who the fuck sneaks in Fritos? If you're gonna sneak in a chip, at least go for a Dorito. Yeah. Fucking Fritos or a Lay? Anything but a Frito. <laughs> Frito barely you? count as chips. Yeah. What? Are, what Our are, dog smells like Fritos. What are you, an eighty-year-old woman? Come on, man. That was a Frito zone. So here's an interesting side story to all this. To just to show you how fucking classless so some fuck. And I'm not trying to be, you know, hoity toity. You're wearing fucking, a bolo tie. Yeah, of course I'm, you're wearing. I'm wearing a bolo tie, fucking ropers, you know, all that jazz. But I'm knowing how to respect what's going on here, you know. I want to see this legit. I'm mm-hmm. not here to chew on fucking Fritos. Anyway, these Frito chewing fucks. This is what happens, man. The Broadway cast performs, and it's beautiful. Like I said, one of the best experiences of my life. I hope they tour again so you get to see it yourself, because it's fucking amazing. But anyway, the point is, I'm ecstatic. It's awesome. Your pants. I'm in my yes. pants. You know. A lot I'm, of jizz. I'm shiny again, for some reason. <laughs> and I go home happy. Well, the next day, I read in the paper that the touring cast visited some local schools. And the kids... You know, they fielded questions from the kids and they asked, not the kids only, but the teachers as well. So these fuckers should have known better. They asked them, hey, we're in town. We want to take in your your culture. Yeah, we want to take in the local cuisine. Where should we go? Now, I'm not going to name the place that they uh, told them to go. But let's just say that if you come to where we live, people are going to force you to eat that fucking shithole. And it sucks. Okay, we love us some tacos because we're Mexican. Yeah, their specialty is drowned tacos. Yeah, they drown these motherfucking things in filth. Yeah. They're greasy and they suck and they have the cheapest cheese ever. But people seem to love it because it's a thang here. Anyway, this of all fucking places is where they tell this world fucking star class. That's right, class. This cast... To go and eat. Just out of town, we have a nice steakhouse that could have gone to yeah. instead. Yeah, world-renowned steakhouse. Yeah. You know, a good, like, 20, 30-minute drive from, from the main part of town. Yeah. They could have gone there. Fucking Arnold and Sylvester Stallone and diplomats from the world have come to that steakhouse. Yeah. Movies have been filmed on that set because there's sets on the steakhouse there grounds. 
Uh, no, go to this taco joint that sucks donkey asses. <laughs> That's not good. And guess what? I keep up with the cast because, again, I was so impressed with his performance. You were stalking them a little bit. I was stalking them a little, man. They were fucking awesome. Yeah. There was that one guy that looked like Bruce Campbell yeah. singing, Red, the blood of angry men. It was fucking badass, bro. The one-man freaking show, Ahab, Les Miserables videos coming soon, by the way. Perform fully naked. Yeah. Bolo tie only. Bring yours too. Anyway, yeah, I keep up with the cast, man, and and as they move across the state, I you know I, I you know just keep up with the newspapers. And the next time I hear about them, this is right after they left our town yep. and went to this deplorable fucking establishment. The next thing I hear about them is that half the cast is sick. Yep. With dysentery. <laughs> Gee, I fucking wonder why. I was like, because fucking... our fucking denizens. I knew it, man. It was like the Oregon Trail and shit. Fuck yeah, man. They shot their fucking cattle. They forded the river and failed at it. And worst of all, they shit themselves. Yeah, they did. World fucking class cast. Yep. Shitting themselves to no end because they ate fucking filthy ass tacos. The fuck, man. Anyway, recently John Cleese hated us as well. So, uh... That's a thing. So that's a fucking thing. Yep. Anyway, we live in a piece of shit town. It's, <laughs> it's not saying. good, yeah. Um, but it's all right, you know? I mean, it could I, be worse. I like it. I like it. Could be worse. Still kind of sucks. It's... Our our strip joints fucking suck. Yeah. I haven't even been to them, and I know they suck. Yeah. That's how bad they are. You have seen uh, the adult video shop, and uh, you linger on the dildos Man, a little too long. I was fucking weird. so close to buying a dildo. Just leave it at that. Just leave it yeah. at that. <laughs> it's actually true. This has nothing to do with what we're just talking no, about, yeah. but it proves that we're part of the classless yeah, denizens. That's a good point. <laughs> the point is, we we're gonna buy a dildo for set dressing, and just leave it there and never address it. Yeah. See and who let, notices yeah, it. Yeah, see who noticed. They were gonna notice because it was gonna be dead center. It was gonna be immense. But uh, yeah, we were gonna go for the biggest they, dildo. They didn't have the size we wanted. Let's just say that. The, really, the problem was that they're too expensive, and it wasn't worth the visual gag to, to buy a fucking like. $80 dick just to have there. Eighty Hashtag $80 dick. Hashtag Moolah's Worms. Yep. Anyway, we, we really got off fucking yeah. course. The point is, I'm Ahab. He's Goontig. We've been chatting. Hit us up. What are some of your strange quirks of your local towns and cultures yeah. that you hate? Tell us. Let us know. If you got good deals on dildos, hit us up. Hit us, hit us up because we need some set dildos. Yep. Hashtag Set dildos. <laughs> anyway, hit like, share, subscribe, and those notification buttons because we're out of here.